Tonight, more than 100,000 people are in U.S. hospitals being treated for COVID. Here in Florida, it is 17,000 patients that are being treated in the state. Now, that's the highest number since January across the board in this country. And resources are beginning to be stretched. NBC6 reporter Ryan Nelson is live at Memorial West Hospital with the latest. Ryan. And Jackie, Florida's top hospital leaders sounding the alarm tonight after a stunning new survey revealed a shortage of medical oxygen at 68 hospitals across the state. Those hospitals having only about 48 hours of oxygen left. A worldwide medical oxygen shortage impacting the state of Florida. We do have some oxygen issues at some of the hospitals. It is not yet. Uh, severe. Broward County Mayor Steve Geller says he's not yet following the path of Orlando. The mayor there asking residents to conserve water, but Mayor Geller is monitoring the dire situation. Geller says he's following other companies and governments moving towards requiring county employees to get vaccinated. We would have to work with our unions, but you know, it is my personal belief that with appropriate limitations that uh, our own employees should be required to be vaccinated. Meanwhile, headlines claim Florida faces record COVID-19 deaths, but are they entirely accurate? They're not. Um, and, and again, I, I understand the confusion because we have deaths based on when they're reported, deaths based on when they occurred. Dr. Jason Salemi, compiler of the most comprehensive website for COVID-19 data for Florida, says the date of which people die is the best gauge Less important is how many new deaths happen to be reported on a given day, like the record 901 one day increase reported today. We are not where we were in the summer surge of 2020. We are getting very close to where we were in the winter surge. And so people who are saying this is the most deaths that we've observed, that, that is not based on fact yet. And Broward County's mayor says they have more people in the hospital than any county in the United States. Now, that's based solely on numbers. That's not per capita or a percentage. Ryan Nelson, NBC6 News.